welcome ladies and gentlemen to Amsterdam in the NRCA Stadium here down in Amsterdam for a qualifying match for the World 15 competition for women's in Dubai later on this year between the Netherlands and Colombia. My name is Andrew Svenningsen, sitting next to me is Veenant Breitenbach. We shall be your commentators here today. The match has just started. Um, Colombia having the ball on uh, just inside the Netherlands half. Veenant, we just went through the warm-up together. We just watched these two tides warming up. Uh, how do you think uh, today is going to fare on uh, between these two sides? As you can see, and it's already starting up on a heated affair, Dutch defending very, very good, low chop tackles. And now uh, here, is, here is where it begins, in the scrum. Both packs, very, very conditioning, uh, conditioned teams. Let's see how the first scrum goes. Yeah, it's going to definitely be a battle between the, the, the two forwards today. Um, Colombia currently sitting on 28th in the World Women, Women's World Rankings and uh, Netherlands uh, uh, 13 places above that at number 15th, uh, with Colombia having the chance, if they win with more than 15 points, to move up to an all-time high of 24th. Um, so it's a very important game for both teams uh, as a qualifier for a new initiative from World Rugby to improve and, uh, and put women's rugby in the spotlight. Uh, but a, a very stable scrum to start off with. There goes a break from our number 10, Jet Metz, uh, taking the ball just over the 10 line, just, just not into territory of the Colombian side. Uh, forwards doing some, some really good work. Um, yep. That was Inger, Inger, the captain, taking up strong. We're going to be seeing an exit play just outside the half. They're getting ready just to relieve uh, some of that pressure inside their own half. Uh, definitely going to be a battle of the boot uh, 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 as well. Uh, and I don't just say that because there's someone on the list with the name boot, but uh, uh, it's definitely going to be a battle in the air as well. Um, oh, fantastic kicking from Esme. She's done it the first time and then to recipient again. Now, Plenty Kivit, let's see what she can do. She's one of the stars. Def definitely a player to watch. Uh, not not going to be too happy with that outcome. Uh, just getting that uh, she is obviously used to the sevens game uh, where there's not a, a lot of kicking. Um, uh, she, she's obviously going to be uh, one of the players we want to be keeping our eye on today. Uh, just the same as the Colombian number 15, Valentina Tapias. Uh, definitely it's going to be a, a good battle between the two players. Now, Colombia has a really, really strong, strong scrum. Catalina Suarez being the anchor there. She's the, the main go-to in the scrum. Let's see. The Dutch had a first scrum, I would say, very steady. But now it's the Colombians' turn. Let's see what the Dutch can do to disrupt it. Yeah. Netherlands uh, uh, have a defending scrum just inside, just inside the Colombian territory, going for a high winger setup, uh, one out the back. And uh, Colombia are definitely going to have a go here and uh, play, play the ball around a little bit, uh, set up their position and try. Oh, oh it's a turnover. It's a turnover for the, ne for the Netherlands team. And, uh, Fantastic interplay. Oh, another turnover. Just unlucky of that. Yeah. Both, both, both teams are, are going to be playing the territorial game, trying to keep it in the middle of the field, uh, uh, try to keep out of their, their red zones. Uh, they've got to play a little bit uh, calm, calm rugby inside the 22s. There goes the, there goes the whistle. No advantage on that. I think it was just a knock-on. Yes, indeed, a knock-on. Very unlucky, but uh, Andy, did you see that interplay? It started from the cat and Inga, and it just went through uh, through the hands. I w I'm really impressed so yeah, far. Yeah, definitely. Uh, playing it off the ground, also a, a good skill to have in the uh, in the toolbox. Um, third scrum of the match. Uh, it's been quite even so far. Um, again, the Netherlands opting for a, uh, a high winger system. Uh, they've got one one winger back in the on the line of the fullback. Uh, ex probably expecting the kick. Uh, we'll see what Colombia are going to do with it uh, deep inside their own half. I think Lifa Stallman will be guarding the sideline there. She's one of the players that will be playing her trade outside of the Netherlands from next year onwards. Just a reset there at the scrum. Obviously, uh, uh, both head coaches, Louis Pedro Accard and, uh, and Silke Havikorn, have been uh, working into their soldiers in the, in the, uh, in the past weeks. To, to, to try and get a, a perfect performance out of their teams today. Obviously, a, a very important game for both sides. Colombia uh, taking part in the tournament last year in, in Dubai, coming in at last place, uh, forcing them into this match. 
uh, against the Netherlands, who, who have done really well to, to win a couple of games on the trot uh, to, to get them here for this qualifying match. And, uh, and, and the winner of the, uh, of the competition in Dubai uh, uh, has an opportunity to go to the World Cup in England in 2025. So uh, uh, it's really down to the wire today. They pick up and go from the number eight uh, on the blind side. A good offload and a good... Great cover tackle from Mariette. And then a, a, a good forward pod uh, coming back into the action. They've got their forward set up in a nice little uh, stru pod structure there. Uh, they're going to be looking for quick ball, but the, the Dutch are going to try. And uh, uh, there's a little bit of a, a nice little loop line. And, uh, and the ball gets kicked away. Plenty Kivit lets it, uh, lets it on, the, on the ground. It's a fight for it. She regathers it. And it's a good tackle into touch. So we're going to restart with a line out to the Dutch team just outside their 22. That was a bit of an awkward kick. but And... Plenty decided to, to leave it where, um, yeah, she decided to leave it, but then made a really good cover tackle to just keep it safe. Now the Dutch line out. Deep inside their own half as well, so they're going to be looking uh, not to play in this area. We know, we know, we know the game of rugby. Uh, we shouldn't want to play just outside our 22, uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what, uh, what they go for here. It's a good line out. Great and it's line a more catch from Mina. Quick, quick get away out the mall, step inside by the number 12, Apin Selbeck. They go on the blind side, yeah. good hands. Great hands. Oh, just uh, so unlucky. So unlucky from Gaia. Uh, I'm sure she'll make it up at the later in the game. Um, just the, the pass was just in front of her, just, just. Yeah. Last pass is very, so so very important at this uh, at this level, uh, especially that last pass. You always wanted to go straight into the hands and uh, and and uh, definitely accelerate onto that ball to try get that uh, go forward momentum uh, to get your team uh, into an attacking position. Uh, unfortunately, you're just not going to hand there and uh, and forcing the the scrum for Colombia. Definitely an opportunity for them to to have an attack. Uh, let's see what the backline uh, can get into. Previous scrum was really highly contested from both teams. Both teams very low. Let's see how it goes. Stable scrum from both sides. Good attacking platform for the backs to get over the line. Gain line success. Straight on yet, but she did well to get her down. Yeah, they do have a man. They do have a man open on the on the, on the wide side. They just don't manage to get the ball there. They've got the advantage. It was an overlap, but Leifa did well to to press on it a penalty coming up no advantage uh, no advantage from the play there they've got it they've got a choice are they going to take the points are they going to go for the scrum or are they going to go for the line out i would fancy my chances in the scrum the scrum is doing really well if you look at the length the dutch dutch team is they have a yeah a taller ladies and yet the colombian strong scrum is really good yeah they're going to go for the line out there uh, Dutch captain Inge, she's definitely going to go try and put some pressure up on them. Uh, standing in the captain role today, in, uh, instead of uh, the normal captain for this ladies' team, uh, sitting in the naughty corner, Linda van der Velde. Uh, she'll be definitely supporting in such an important game from the sidelines. But uh, we're just going to restart the game with a line out for the Colombians just outside the Dutch 22. Camille, Kim, Camilla is throwing it in. I saw her from the start, she's th throwing the ball really well. Contested in the air. Recuperating it. Is there a turnover? No. Still still in possession of Colombia. Good good line speed from the Dutch team off off of that defensive line. They're gonna be hunting and hunting in defense here. As we as we like to say, attack and defense. Camilina uh, Suarez taking it up. Now Camila again. I think this is her fourth carry already, and it's not even ten minutes into the game. They've got options both sides. A good little shimmy. Strong, strong run from Maria Arzuaga. I like how well the, the the defensive side uh, at the moment, the Dutch team, they set oh, they are very they set very quickly in the defence. They have the opportunities at the at the ball. They've got good low tackles, which uh, which allows the opportunity for the jackal to get into the, the ruck. The Colombian is doing very well to hold the ball. Advantage. And it's, a, it's an inside play. Advantage. I think we were a bit too high in that one tackle. Brechia a bit too up high. Still the advantage for Colombia. Quick ball and she's through. She gets over the gain line. 
One little break. Has she released it? Great mm. line from Lady Soto. Camila Suarez taking it up. Dutch going to have to do some good defense on the on, on, on the try line just as they do. They manage to get them back. The counter ruck comes in. The pressure's there. They're going to have to get up there in the face. They do really well. Great press from the Dutch. Great press. Line speed really good from the Dutch team getting up off, the, off, the, off that line, putting the Colombians under pressure. They do, have, they do have the width of the field, and they get it. Another penalty. Just I think the Dutch is too eager. I think they are really ruthless in defense, but really eager mm. and making that small errors, costing them a bit. Mm, big, big, big statement from the Colombian, time, uh, Colombian team not going for poles there, going for the line-out option. Big statement. They're here to play the game. They're not, uh, they're not going to just take the points and go and restart. They're, they're, looking, for the, for they're looking for the fiver. Well, if you look at their scrum, I think they have a strong team, so they will be backing themselves. Let's see if the Dutch can nick this one. Just a fumble off the top of the line, but they managed to gather it, and she gets over the line, and right. it's a it's a score for Colombia in the first ten minutes of the game. We've got it. We've we've got to try just on the outside from a little bit of a dirty line out. She's collected it really well, and over the try she goes. Just a of concentration because the eagerness in defense from the Dutch is there. It was just a lack of concentration from a line out. But this is now where the Dutch team need to regroup and get back on the horse. Just a restart structure. They're going to go back. They know exactly what they're going to do. It's all up to the kicker now to add that extra two points for the Colombian team. And it, let's not underestimate. I know the Colombian team is currently 28th in the world and the Dutch is 15th. Let's not underestimate the, the, the Colombian team. They are growing in stature. They are on a tour here in Europe. They, last weekend they played in Spain. They, they did well. From what I hear from the team, they're, they're doing really well. They're on, a, on the rise. So let's not underestimate them. And I think the Dutch is really just really eager, but let's see what they can do bounce back on this. Yeah, I think uh, the, 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 woman, the, the, the world rankings, when it comes to men and women, I think you can always have a look at it. Uh, it always determines about how many games you play and who you play against. So the points you can gather uh, um, can go either way, depending on who you play. Uh, Colombia obviously having a great opportunity later on this year against Brazil in June uh, for the Women's Rugby World Cup uh, next year. Uh, so that'll be that'll be the big test, and it's obviously a great projection for them to get through to to this game the, against a strong Dutch team that have been working really hard together uh, to become uh, a, a one a, a, a one unit team. For those who missed that, um, the kick was missed, so it's 5-0 to Colombia. Restart taken well, strong carry. Relieves the pressure straight down the middle. It's taken well in by the number nine. Esme Lichtfoot, she gives it to Plony Kivit. She's, she's a hot stepper. Gathered, let's go. Quick ball away from that rock. That's what they're going to be looking for now in, uh, in Colombian territory. Inge Junger is taking it up. Go, Brechia Karst. Space on the out wide. Isa attacking the line there. There's a gap. Isa Prince That's taking in the hole. There's the captain. Patience. This is where the Dutch need to show patience. Great oh. little kick. Just in the back, it's been collected well by the number 15. She's got away from one defender, hasn't gotten away from the second. She sets up the ruck in the 22. Valentina Tapias, one of the most experienced players in the Colombian team. It's a turnover as well. The Dutch, the Dutch have got it back. They're going to looking for quick ball here. General rule in rugby. Shouldn't they want to go. Going to play out wide, and they do it. What a dummy! Esme giving it to the forwards. Now it's time to go. Strong carry through the number 10. They've got Cross the line. The Just short from. Hands on it in the ruck. 
They've got the advantage. Advantage for Netherlands. Yet, what is Yet going to do? Very exciting player. Slow ball from the ruck. Through the forwards. Brechje Kars taking it up. Bit stagnated, but yeah, what can you do? Fantastic Good line, Liverpool. fantastic line from Issa Prince. You saw this, uh, Issa has probably carried four times in this run of play. What a fantastic decision to run there with Issa. Yeah, definitely a good line just off that shoulder, getting a nice shoulder ball yes. there underneath the poles. Looking for, looking for hands and not shoulders, looking for weak, weak, weak shoulders to run at. They've done it absolutely well to get the try against them, to work it way all the way back into the Colombian half and get the five point. And it, uh, it's under the poles, um, giving, a, giving an easy kick to make the extra two. Can she make the score a 7-5? And I said it's really important how the Dutch hits back and what a way to do it in this fashion. It was not even three minutes ago where they were standing under their own poles and now with the try from Isa Prince, fantastic. Kick to come. Vainant, if, if you were the captain, I need the, the poles for the Colombian team. What, do, what would you be saying to your team at this moment? Composure, trust the system. Trust the system. <laughs> That's the go-to for all coaches. Yeah. But in this case, I think it's really important for this Colombian team to do that. They have a really good, scr they have a really good scrum. Their line-out is working. Um, just patience. And now, you say it on the other side. Now it's time to hit back. Exactly. And uh, Jet Metz getting the kick over, making the score seven-five. Dutch have retaken, have taken over the lead in this game. Very early into the first half, it's all, uh, can they keep the composure? The restart has come, They've and the knock-on comes. And oh, ref says it's backwards. Ref says it's backwards, okay. We'll play that. Play the ball out into the short side. Great offload on the inside. A strong carry from Brechtekast uh, getting over that gain line. Is it... Is, okay, it's still, it's still under the Dutch. It's still for the Dutch. And just have a little exit play. They're going for the box kick. Esme, another great kick. Wow. Oh. Yeah, for us, it's straight out. I thought it was a good good kick, but it's straight out, which means they need to go back. Yeah, line out to back in your own half. Good attacking opportunity. Set a good platform. He had to get over into the 22 and hopefully score some points. Uh, that, that's at least what Colombia are going to be hoping at this time. Uh, just a little mistake from the number nine there. Uh, she'll be having a, uh, having a look at that, and uh, uh, next one, or she'll, she'll be hitting the spot, I reckon. Good pressure from the touch line, not in the air, but they're just leaving the jumper alone, which allows her to get over the gain line. Good quick ball from the ruck. Good line speed from the Dutch Cortano. defense line. Good, good rucking over as well. They're going to use the space. That's, oh, just, the oh. Dutch has turned it over. It's Liefer, Liefer Stolman. Can she do it? Has she got the legs to run all the way into the corner? The a great yes, handle and in the corner. Another runaway try. Just a little bit of a bat. Just, a, just, just not the, a perfect pass from the Colombian backline. Just over the head. Just in between into no man's line, into no man's land. And the Dutch uh, uh, picking up the fumble quite quickly. Just one offload. And, uh, and uh, Lieber Stahlmann have definitely got the speed to go and finish it off in the corner. That's exactly what we want to be looking, uh, looking at, guys. Running rugby from the wingers, uh, uh, play the ball when there's the opportunity. Uh, I like to say it to, to a lot of teams, when, uh, uh, when there's a turnover, we've got to play it out wide and let the Flyers do their thing. That's exactly what the Dutch team have done. Andy, um, if you look at that, that play, I think what was really important there is the Dutch pressure. You know, Liefer, they, sh they shot up really fast leaving the 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 wing uh, the fullback um, valentina tapias um, exposed but because of all that pressure the mistake came and there's one person you do not want to give a ball in that situ situation and that's liver stallman great speed great rugby player and there you have it try time score is now 12 with the kick to come Jet Mets from the touchline, a bit more difficult than the last kick, and kick it's over. over. <laughs> Unbelievable. From the sideline, fantastic. Fantastic kicking from Jet Mets, uh, moving the score into 14-5 for the Dutch team. 
They're going to go for a restart. Are they going to go and they're going to make it a contestable tick, kick on the 10 meter line or are they going to kick it deep and hope for the return? Well, the Dutch have dropped two balls from two kickoffs. So I, th I would say if our Inger focus on recovering this ball. Yeah, they've got a good hang time on it. A little bit of a deeper kick. You have the try scorer there, Isa Prince, taking it up again. Another box kick. Yeah, box kick coming, another caterpillar. Much better from the nine, just putting it just into the trams there. A good chase Fantastic. from the Dutch defense. Fantastic tackle yeah. from. Winning some good, well hard earned meters there. The hooker, Camilla, again, with probably her sixth carry of the day. Is it her knees on the ground, so they need to release. Slow ball from, slow ball from Colombia. They're going to have to work hard to get, onto, to get some momentum here. The, def the defensive side is uh, w well structured at this moment, man on man. They're running a good little play. Here comes the kick. It's gone up high. Right return kick. Nobody she's, there. She's found some grass. Nobody there. Fantastic In, kick. Into the 22. And it bounces out just, just, just on the 10 meter line in the Colombian territory. We will restart with the line out to the Dutch team. Uh, I think the lineouts have gone pretty smoothly for both teams at the moment. Uh, some good pressure from both sides. They've secured pretty much all of their own ball. Um, one little one little fumble causing the mistake uh, there for the first try for Colombia. Um, this is definitely, they're going to have a think that uh, the lineout's definitely a weapon for both teams here um, to set a good front foot ball for, for the Netherlands. They use Tatiana Hernandez, quite a tall player, very explosive. Oh. Mm. Just a misthrow just over the top there. Just the timing issue there at the line out. Colombian have regathered it just inside their own half. It's a good little tip pass. Found a little bit of a shoulder there. And the referee has gone to the whistle. There's a bit of an injury on the floor. An awkward bounce in that. Gad trying to gather the ball. I think she just hit her. Somebody need hit her in the face. Not express, of course. But uh, that's what you need to do to get the ball. And that's the captain, Camila Lopera. You know, she has a fire in her. Hmm. I think she's... No, she's, she's not going off. She's gathering the ball. She's ready to go again. Yeah. Penalty, just a no-arms tackle there from the, fr from the Dutch team. Just a quick special mention to, to number 14, Nicole Durango, making her debut, or, uh, a starting debut for the Colombian side. And uh, Anna Camacho, no, number 19, on the bench, hoping to get uh, her debut coming off uh, from the bench. Uh, just going to have a restart from the Colombian side. It's gone nice and high. Is she going to manage to keep it in? No. no. That's the line out. Attacking line out for the Colombian side. Uh, we've seen what they can do already. Scored one, one try uh, off the line out already. They're going to be looking to, to get the, the back line. A little bit of space here. Opting for a short man line out. Four man line out. Andy, I'm really impressed with number 12, Maria Arzuaga very strong runner let's see if they use her in this play oh. yeah first a knock on from the dust team but they're doing really well in the air to get that player up nice and quickly uh, line outs these days are one on the ground instead of in the air they're just really quick on the ground uh, just watching for that hooker to make their first move doing really well up in the air uh, uh, unfortunate with the knock on but uh, still an outcome very very unlucky it was just a fingertip away um, and it unfortunately went to the, went forward, which is now a scrum for Colombia, which has a strong scrum. Let's see, let's see if the Dutch, the Dutch has been matching it. Yeah, very interesting. The Dutch opting for a five-man defensive line there. Uh, everyone in the line out, uh, uh, in the line, nice and high, going to get looking for a blitz defense, and there they go, up in the face. They do a little bit of a switch play out to the winger. They get caught. Got a release. Good work there at the ruck from number 12. Pien Selbeck, good work. Good work rate from, from, from both sides here. Slow ball, creating it. Here you have Maria again, over the advantage line. Camilla Lopera, digging it out. Yeah, 
Just the Dutch team, just just creating a little bit too much of a nuisance there at the ruck. Just creating a little bit of slow ball. Colombia just can't uh, deal with it. They, 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 I think they would li love to have a little bit more quicker ball, but the Dutch doing really strong in defence, doing really well. Going the same way again. Dutch pressing. Wow, that was feed from Juliano Soto. <laughs> Oof. Nuska Bakers with a big tackle there. There's a little bit of a show and go from the fly off. Just running back into some forwards there. Haven't really made some gain line success in a few phases. <laughs> They've got to be able to play with it now. Some great work. Wow. Good tackling from the Dutch team. They're really looking Mina aggressive. The, Mina the force, great tackle. Just not releasing there. Just, just, just not releasing from the referee. Getting another penalty. Disciplines going to have to be looked at here for the Dutch team. This could be a, this could be a point uh, for them to work on definitely in the second half. They're going to have a little bit of a chat about uh, their discipline. What, Andy, what, do, what do you do here? Do you go for post? Do you go for the line -out? They're going for the line -out, but what would you have done? I think, uh, I think creating scoreboard pressure is a very important thing in rugby these days. I think uh, the more points you can get, uh, the better, no matter what, if it's a try or awful polls. So every opportunity to take a score, I think you should be taking it and keep that scoreboard ticking. I think Colombia will be back in their line-out. They've been doing really well with their line-out. The Dutch need to be awake. We have seen it now two times. The Colombian, uh, the Colombia catcher just turning around and running it themselves. Just about respecting that ball wherever it is, just uh, uh, giving the respect it needs uh, wherever it is and whoever's got it just to, to, just to get them to the ground or get it back on your side, ideally. Um, but we'll see how this line-out goes. Um, for, for, for both teams, I, uh, Netherlands definitely going to have you looking at uh, for, for the last one in the same area. Definitely not to let that jumper slip, uh, just to have eyes up. The performance analyst uh, Dino there speaking to the Dutch team, telling them to keep their nerves, keep calm and just do, keep on doing what they're doing in defense. I think the defense has been fantastic. Yeah, Matthew Cripps, assistant coach of the uh, of the Dutch team, and, uh, definitely a defensive mind here in the Netherlands. Uh, you can see the work that he's been doing here with the ladies, definitely coming to fruition. And uh, and just look at that pressure there in the line out, just getting up in the air nice and quickly, forcing the knock on and getting the scrum back in their own half uh, and relieving that pressure for the Dutch side. They're going to be happy with that outcome. Uh, and Gareth Gilbert as well, being also a forwards, uh, a forwards man himself, uh, definitely can see the scrum and the line out working really hard together to become a unit. Uh, it, it's doing well so far and uh, uh, looking at the, at the scoreboard at the moment, uh, they'll be quite happy with what's going on right now. Um, still early, Andy. Still early. Still early. The game is 80 minutes. The Dutch, let's see. It's a steady scrum. Another pick and go. Flankers are straight onto it. And it's a carry. turnover and a breakaway from the Colombian side in a very dangerous area, but the referee disallows it and says no. It blows the whistle and brings them back for a penalty. Just a sigh of relief there from the Dutch team. Uh, in, uh, inside their 22, just get to just be able to get a bit of a, a, a fresh breath air there and get rid of the ball. I would say all credit to Lisa Boat there. She was under a lot of pressure and she got over the advantage line so much that the Colombians came from the side and that is all because of game line pressure. Fantastic kick from the touch team. Not, uh, not, not, not as much meters as she wanted I guess but she put it up there nice and high. It's not too much of a wind out there. Uh, hoping the wind would carry it a little bit more, I guess, but uh, the, the breeze is not so strong. Andy, what a fantastic day for, for rugby. What a fantastic day, eh, Nams? When I look at the, the weather, they said it's going to rain, yeah. but now even the sun is peeking through. Yeah, yeah. I think it's raining in Colombia because they've got, we've got Colombian weather here. <laughs> Mariette with a great line-out catch there. Great, great little tip passes. They really like that two-pass rule before, before yes. getting into contact. It's good to see good co continuity from the team. Good, strong running. Lisa. Wow, how did she get the ball? Oh, very unlucky there from Lisa Boat. Fantastic idea. If the winger was there, I, it would be it would have been interesting to see what would have happened. But fantastic there. But great interplay from Isa Prince. 
Jeez, no, she's having a game. And I tell you, from the Colombian side, they looked like they looked like they were quite set quite quickly there in defence, and also just got that pressure just to force that error. So I think both both sides defensively are playing quite well at the moment. Uh, we could we could execute a little bit more opportunities and attack, I think, from both sides, and uh, especially the line out. We've got a few overthrows oh. just like that. Another one, and uh, there's another knock on just coming from a line out. Going to have to look at that uh, uh, coming into the change rooms a little bit. Uh, try and execute more, get that percentage rate up uh, uh, on successes. Look, I think. I think Mariette, Mariette Laika placed a lot of pressure on the Colombian team, on the hooker, uh, Camila, to get the throw over. And I think that's the reason why yeah. you just see that small error speaking in. Yeah, and just, uh, yeah, and just I mean, uh, I if you're giving a pressure in there, the throw's got to be on point for you to hit your man. Uh, and I think, yeah, just, uh, just throwing someone up there and just uh, creating that little bit of pressure and a little bit of doubt of where we're going. Uh, uh, creates that uh, that forced error for the for for these knock-ons. Steady stuff scrum from both teams. Number eight picking up, taking two people with her. Just unlucky. She couldn't roll away, and the penalty is not for rolling away, but it's just Taken. unlucky. Camila Cardona taking it up again. Taken quickly by the Colombians. They've got a penalty there. They've opted for the quick tap and uh, uh, pressure from, from the Dutch in the, uh, in the ruck and they've turned it over as well. Uh, Got to be able to play this one quickly through the forwards. Breche Kars taking it up. Slow ball, they're going to get ready for an exit player. They do not want to play inside of their own half, this Dutch team. They understand that if they play in their un own half, it just creates unnecessary pressure. It's, it's, a low, it's a low kick, it's a good <laughs> kick just over the scrum off's head. A good chase as well. They've caught her up, they've wrapped her up just inside the trams there on the, on, on the right-hand side of the field. Great tackle from Gaia. Good ball from the Colombian team straight into Martina the forwards. Suarez taking up a huge carry there. Camila Cordona for probably a 10th carry of the game. Hmm. Both play playmakers at the back, number 10 and 15, Jet Mets and Plenikivit waiting for that ball to come just so they can have a little bit of fun with it. But the Colombian team know that they're dangerous from the back, so they're going to hold on to it and try and play with it outside of their own half. They've definitely Whoa. had a look at this Dutch team to see where they could have their, their, their opportunities. And it's definitely running the ball and not kicking it. It's a, is it a penalty against the Dutch? Yes, it looks like it's going to be a penalty against the Dutch. Yeah. Captain Inger talking to the ref. What is the work on? Penalty for not rolling away. Oh, very unlucky. Lisa Birdmaker made a really big tackle. Yeah. Unfortunately, she was caught up in it, so she couldn't roll away. But I agree with the ref. The, the, the penalties is now stacking up. So Captain Ingerberg needs to do something. Just need to get that discipline underneath control. Otherwise, uh, it's going to let these Colombian side just, just get a little bit too much into your own half where you don't want them to be. Uh, and, of course, they're going to be looking to take all the opportunities they can get to, to stay inside the Dutch half and collect some more points um, at the moment. Uh, Lineout's not working too much. Maybe they should be opting a little bit more for the scrum. The scrum has been a very, very steady platform for them on attack so far. Not too much, uh, not too much wobbliness there at the scrum. Fernand, you're, you're a front rower. How annoying is it when a scrum is not working on it on, on the day? I say props win every game. <laughs> for the first 40 minutes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Fantastic kick by Camila there comes Opera. The kick. Just letting the ball bounce just about there, just losing some meters, but the refs called it back again. I think pulling down in the line out was um, the over trading. I hope. Yeah, I hope just another penalty. Just another penalty coming from that down side. Just, just trying to work too hard, maybe just trying to be a little bit too eager there at the line out. They know that they've got the opportunity to steal that ball at line out time, so they, they, they're definitely going to be having a look at it to, to, to keep going after that ball in the line out. And the Colombians just keeping the ball at the line out. Um, I would just like to see them look uh, play a little bit more of the scrum. They've got a good, good back line. Uh, uh, they've got some speedsters out wide. They could probably use them a little bit more. The line out's not working so much. But uh, maybe the coach just says, no, guys, back yourself. It's going to come right eventually. They have scored one off the line out already. So let's see if they can do it again. Dutch Contea is really contesting this. I see Maria Arduazo oh. creeping up. And the Dutch 
it's a short it's a, it's a it's a short ball it's a short ball just on the five meter but the referee has said it has not gone five meters the ball still has to carry five meters even if you throw it to the front of the line out so it will be a scrum to the dutch team well i think the dutch will consider this as a small victory yes it's the dutch scrum but we all know this colombian scrum has some power behind it let's see if the dutch can keep their composure and get the ball back probably get out of the 22 Colombia is behind but I must say from a territory perspective I think Colombia has the edge they've been playing a lot of rugby in this side of the Dutch real estate coming into the last five minutes of the first half score currently sitting at 14 to 5 uh, with the scrum inside the Dutch territory to the Dutch team. Certainly going to be looking to relieve some pressure outside of their 22. It's a bit of a pressure from the Colombian scrum and they forced the penalty just in the scrum. Uh, just like I said, they should be looking at their scrum. It's definitely a weapon for this Colombian team. So uh, just in the last five minutes, just that penalty count just going up and up and up from the Dutch side. They're gonna Catalina Suarez, they what an anchor in the scrum. Yeah. And finally, they opt to go for post. They've got to keep that scoreboard ticking. It's a perfect time to get some ports on the board. Just before halftime, you, you always want to be going into the, into the halftime period, having to be the last team that scored. A, a very good decision from the Colombian team. Look, Catalina Suarez is probably the most experienced prop there, but the penalty was, uh, was for Gazelle Gomez, actually one of the newbies, a very young player, doing fantastic getting the penalty there and now they have a chance for three points um, and they opted for the points mm -hmm. if this kick comes over they will be looking at a 14-8 lead the Dutch team uh, uh, going into half time if nothing happens for the next five minutes Maria Arzuaga my apologies for pronunciation And it's over. It's a good kick from the Colombian kicker. Straight over the poles, flags have gone up to bring the score to a 14-8. To the Dutch team, to the home side, they're going to have to look restart, probably have a deep kick straight into Colombian territory and try and keep them there, defend, 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 and force the error and get them back onto the scoreboard. If you know assistant coach Gareth Gilbert, he will be plodding from the sidelines. Now it's time to hit back. So let's see if the Dutch can do just that. Yeah, just something you always want to be in a rugby team. If you always, uh, you, you just don't want to be scored against. People, uh, you want to make teams scared of scoring against you because you know it's going to come, uh, come back, hit it, hit it, come back at you. Maria Arguaza just got three points now, carrying it in. Yeah, this Colombian seed, this Colombian team have definitely had a look at uh, at the Dutch team and see who they've got that uh, got at the back of the last line of defence. They don't like to kick it. They're going to play it outside of their own half. Play very dangerously, high risk. High reward, maybe. Giselle Gomez taking it up now for the kick. Let's see. If, oh, very awkward bound for Plony. No knock on. She's taking it up. Now it's done. Oh. Esme look for putting it on, onto the boot for Jade Metz, the return kick. She's, she's got loads of time to put it up. Enough time. Dutch need to fall back. Oh, penalty. Yeah, Not offside. Back you've offside. Got you need to fall back if there's a kick. So, so actually, it's called the Anton Dupont law. You don't have to retreat, but you're not allowed to advance. Exactly. At, uh, uh, Anton Dupont uh, having a look, a good look at the rule book before the World Cup and uh, exploiting uh, that little piece of uh, of area of the game that you don't have to retreat when a kick comes forward, but you're not allowed to a pass. And, uh, and if you're, if you're within 10 meters of the catcher, you just have to wait for the pass, or if the ball carrier takes five meters, it puts you onside. Just the Dutch team, just forgetting. Uh, oh, the the Colombian team. Uh, it's a it's a penalty for the Dutch side. Yeah, the Tatiana uh, Tatiana Hernandez was moving forward. Ah, there we go. The Colombian team just uh, j just forgetting that rule a little bit, too, just moving forward a little bit too early, just being a little bit too eager. Oh, a good little tip pass just outside the 22. They've managed to get outside of the 22. They can't kick it out anymore. An inside pass, very risky inside your 22. Dutch, Dutch giving a lot of pressure. Here comes the kick straight down the middle. Let's see what... Esme Lickfoot get, gathering the ball just on the halfway, giving it to Plony Kivic. You've got to watch out for her, the Plony, seventh player. She's what a hand of speed and also agility. 
Getting some good ground there from from, from Plony out the back. A quick ball from the ruck. Inger, Jonge Reis, captain taking it up. Great meters made. Now it's number one, Nicky Dix. Fantastic carry. Going the other way. Again, Brechia Karst. Good ball from the from the Dutch team, just playing it a little bit quick out the forwards, giving it to the back line, allowing them to run at the, the Colombian team. Uh, you want to be running at an unstructured defense, and I think uh, uh, the Dutch are doing quite well at the moment. Nuska Burkers, what a carry, taking it up for Good continuity from this Dutch side. Oh, just a slip of hands. Now we need to regather. Pin just did just that, regathered really well. Now we got Liefer. Good Great. tackle. Good, good, good momentum from the Dutch team. Just getting the ball over. They're, they're, they're coming back for the option of the penalty. Refs called it back. A uh, bit of lucky because they had the balls. They had balls on there in that ruck. Uh, uh, Plony give it offering herself up uh, for that last pass there. Well, it was a really good tackle from Camilla Lopera, the captain. Unfortunately, we see Liefer Stalman on the ground. That's the that's the the sad sad side of a uh, big tackle. I think it was against the head. I hope to stand up. Very important player for for the Dutch team. Oh, just a running. Her nose is bleeding. Okay. The Dutch luckily had the advantage there, Andy. Let's see what they can do, what they up, the points, or are they backing themselves to do it? Uh, look, I'm not the best. Uh, that's why I'm never the captain. But I would back this team to go for the go for the go for the try. No, I think uh, you always want to stay eight points above your uh, uh, above your opponent. So I think uh, going for poles is probably a good idea here. Yeah, Finish the half for scoring some points. Uh, reset in the change room. You've got you've got one on the ground. You've just just yeah. put on the reserve. Here she comes, at number 22. Yeah, but if I if we have uh, if I have Anuska Burkers and Brechi Kars in my team, I would back myself in running the ball. And they, it seems they listen to me. They're going for the sideline. Yeah, going for the line out. They're back. They're back. Their line out. It's worked for them uh, uh, during this game so far. So uh, why not have a crack at it again? Number 23, Senna Hoke in for. Lever Stalman, just a little bit of a blood bin. She's going to go off, have it checked out, make sure it's not broken, and if it is, just quickly set it straight and back onto the field. Very important for Inger and Jonge Reis and the team to gather the ball now. Colombia, and Colombia have been putting a lot of pressure on it. Ah, just an overthrow. Very unfortunate. There's still a lot of pressure for the Colombian team, and we know the Dutch is pressing, so let's see if they can get out of there danger zone pick up and go scoreboard says that the time is up does the does the referee go with the clock yes that is it half time 14 points to the home side and eight points to the visiting side of Colombia. that is the half time we will see you guys in a bit on the field uh, uh, as of now um, she's not back yet uh, number 23 Senna Hoke is, uh, yep. is still on the uh, still on the field and uh, at this moment in time I can't confirm any substitutions just as of yet um, uh, but uh, surely the, the, the benches should be coming into play uh, uh, not so not so long from now uh, and the restart plenty keep it uh, uh, setting up uh, starting off the game for us Getting a good hang time, getting some good pressure. Just, Argazo. just, just some good footwork there from the Colombian attacker. Just, just, just avoiding that first ta uh, uh, tackler and uh, uh, setting up the ruck. It's a very slow ball for the Colombian side. Some great pressure, turnover? great pressure from uh, the Dutch team. But they have taken in the mall. They've managed to hold it up. It's a scrum down to the Dutch team. Off a, a great way to start the second half. So basically, what happened there is. 
the ball could not get out, which means it's, it's a turnover ball from the team who, which attacked. So uh, Colombia took it in. Now it's a Dutch ball because the, the ball was not presentable. Dutch scrum, first one of the second half. Let's see how it goes. Both teams being quite stable in the scrum in the first half. Uh, um, well, a slightly, slightly different defensive setup here from the, fr from the Colombian side. They've got one, one in the back. Uh, two in the back with a winger, fullback and winger in the back, and only four straight up in the uh, in the defensive line. Definitely an attacking opportunity for the Dutch guy. And there goes the back line, just a little tip pass there. Two number twelve, Ben uh, Selbeck, going uh, going in for the going in for the ball. Just uh, she had a look at the pass, but she decided no. Good work in the uh, in the Colombian run. Nina Force, Nina the Force taking it up again. Quick ball from the Dutch, from the Dutch, a great Here's ball. opportunity. Great little Gregan wow. line from the number nine. Number eight doing really well, Lisa strong on her feet. Boat. Fantastic feet from her. Now it's again Breche Karst. Breche have been carrying a lot to today. Just managed to get over the gain line. That's two phases in a row on the gain line. Blenny Givert holding onto that ball, getting in over the five meter line. A good quick ball from this Dutch team. They're building continuity and there should be some space all the way out. Number nine, just uh, just having a little bit of a second guess there on that pass. Jade Metz forcing her to get into it. Working working really well on her feet, Jade. Captain, Captain Oak. Oh, fantastic try. Inger Jongerijs just keeping the composure, taking the over the advantage line. And that is what continuous pressure does to a team. Fantastic work from the Dutch. Yeah, just, uh, just a few really good phases from the Dutch side. Just getting over that gain line. Just one too many times, allowing them to, to, to break that defense. Just really difficult to get, to, to get folding and, uh, and get man on man on, on, on a defensive team. Working really hard and uh, obviously coming away with the, with the five-pointer. You know, the difference here in that really defense structure is the Colombian team was sitting a bit back where you see the Dutch when they were in this position, they were really still pushing. And that's how our captain Inger Jongerijs got over the advantage line of just the Colombian team sitting a bit back. But I'm sure they're a team that will come back. Let's see. Kick to come from Jade Metz. She's been pretty well off the boot, uh, getting one in front, in, in front of the poles and one just from the touch line. So uh, it's, uh, she's pretty confident today. Let's see if she can make uh, another two points on this, uh, on this fiver. Just pulls it a little bit uh, to the to the left, bringing the score up to 19-8. Exactly. Just quick quick maths. <laughs> <laughs> Restart from the Colombian side. Uh, we haven't really seen a, a, a pattern here with the kickoffs yet. If they're going to go deep or put it on the 10-meter line, they're pr pretty pretty consistent there of just uh, just chopping it short of the 22. Captain Camila Lopera taking it in. A little bit shorter of a kick there, putting it contestable, getting up in the Dutch face. Uh, they've dealt with it well. They've brought it to ground. They've got quick ball on the short side. A good, strong ruck. It's May. She's going to... Yes, it looks like she's going to take it up again. Really good kicking from these from, from both sides. They're not putting it. They're not making it easy for any one of the catchers. Great kick, Valentina. Tapias. Flurney, kicking it back. Surrounded by five orange jerseys, not falling back. Exactly the Dupont rule, where it's not allowed to move forward. The Dutch did just that. They moved forward after the kick. Even e even though this Dutch side giving away quite a few penalties uh, uh, in this game, they're not going to be happy with that uh, with that discipline effort today. But uh, they, they they managed to keep the the Colombians out of their try area just enough. Uh, uh, even though they've they let them get uh, a few 22 entries uh, coming from this game, only one of those entries coming away with a try. So uh, a great defensive effort today from the Dutch team. Colombia really needs to win this lineup too. To make an impact in this game, and it's a great steal from the Dutch team. Fantastic, fantastic steal by. I think it was Mariette. Just, just like I said, getting off, the, getting off that work, getting off that floor as fast as possible. As soon as that hooker makes a move, 
And a, a good box kick again, just making it not easy. Getting those attackers, getting those defenders to run around to make to make a catch, uh, giving your players enough time to get up in their faces. A really good system there. Valeria Munoz taking it up, giving it to number 10, Laura. Here comes Spinoza. the cross kick. They've got some space out wide. She's taking it really well. Fantastic kick. Pl Plony straight on her. Now it's time. Give me it. Bit on the back foot. Ooh. Oh. Lovely show and go, but just a Dutch hand just disrupting that ball and dislodging it. But the referee says, no, nope, there's a penalty there. Diving over the, over the ruck. That's not what you want. I think it was I think, a bit of, I think it's more, more of a slap down is what she was saying, but the, the player had the ball in hand. Oh, and what? it's a yellow, a yellow card. card? Oh, a yellow card for the number eight. Ref is not too happy with that. Yeah, she, 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 she's deemed it as a professional foul and it's a deliberate knockdown. In, my, in my eyes, the player wasn't passing it. It was in her hand, so therefore it should just be just a normal rip. Um, but uh, it's up to the referee at the end of the day, and she's decided it's a yellow card. It'll be 10 minutes in the bench for our number eight of the Dutch team. Lisa Boat. Lisa but it, Boat. It has, been, it has been building up, huh? A lot of penalties from the Dutch. Exactly. So I think it's more of a team, team yellow card. But let's see how the Dutch compose themselves. Oh, just another slip there at the line-out from the Colombian team. They really need to work on their, on their line-out efforts today. They have regathered it. Still in position. Oh, a good little pick and go that from the ruck. That is Catalina Suarez again. Just not setting your, your pillars and posts, your A's and B's at the ruck. Very, very important in, a, in an international game. Every single gap that you're going to see in that defensive line, everyone's going to be taking advantage of it. Camila Cordano, the number two, putting her head low, giving it to the backs. Could just not get the ball out of there. A Dutch good strong fold from the Dutch team, getting into position nice and early, being able to attack in defense. Just hanging on their feet just a little bit there, just letting that Colombian side just run at them a little bit too much. Catalina Suarez, a unit of a player, putting in her, her strength in that. There's oh. an overlap. Oh. Unfortunately, the gap was there. Just unfortunately, just a little bit too hastily. They want to play quickly, but they don't want to play hastily. Just a, just a pass, just not going to hand, giving a knock on, giving the, the Dutch a, a, a big sigh of relief there. It was a good att attacking opportunity for the Colombian side. Just not being able to finish it off inside the 22, and it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a scrum just outside the 22 for the Dutch side. Andy, we need to give, pre we need to give credit on, this, on the Dutch side's pressing there. Um, there was an overlap, but then you see the Dutch again putting a lot of fresh push pressure to, to, to force the mistake there and yeah let's see how the Dutch if the Dutch can get out of this situation now because we know their team if you give them the, the, the front foot ball they're going to score and currently we're making just too many mistakes to get on the front foot ball restart with the scrum just outside the 22 the Dutch team going to, to release some of the pressure you have a little bit of an exit, exit system outside of the 22 Mark is outside the 22, so they cannot kick it straight out. They're going to have to be looking for an angle and trying to set them, set them back again. Colombian side quite close to the scrum, looking to, to put a lot of pressure in there. They've got three, guys, three people in a row there, the, the, the Dutch attacking. So are they going to look to execute the outside space or, or, or crash it up the middle? Good pressure from the Colombian scrum. Bean Selbeck taking it up. Quick ball from the Dutch team. Good passing, good skills. They're playing it. Plony straightening up. Just getting through that half gap there, just looking for a weak shoulder. That sevens experience from her is definitely going to help her in those, uh, in those spaces and the out wide. Fantastic carry by Inger Jungerijs. Very well done from Jade Mess, the show and go, getting oh. us, just spilling it on the floor just at that last moment. Great attacking momentum, just losing it there at that, la at that last moment. Colombians just playing a little bit slow, allowing that uh, Dutch side to, to set defensively. Vargas taking it up. Oh, a little bit of a dummy part. There's just oh, no... Oh, fantastic tackle. Fantastic ta tackle by Issa Prince. I think she was offside. Yeah, was it offside? No, knock no, on. No, knock on can, no, just a knock on from uh, no advantage, but great. <laughs> great tackle from Issa Prince. 
Great intensity from the touch side. Just, uh, just, just picking up that yellow card effort. Just, just uh, taking over that role. They're down to 14. They're down to 14 at the minute, and uh, I think they've, they've they've cleared it up very quickly and uh, and taken over the roles of the, of the number eight uh, in quite a good way. And just it just shows character from this team. Ben Selbeck putting himself in a position if the Colombians play it out left. Still, they're playing it right. Wow. Great tackle. Good read from the Dutch, from the Dutch back line. They, 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 they don't hesitate. They get up into your face. Uh, good, strong tackles. And, and, and uh, when it, uh, I always like to say uh, a good action has to be followed by a good action. A good tackle has to be followed by a dominant ruck. And it's just what they're doing. And they decide to leave some of the rucks alone. It's good, uh, good decision making there. Laura Di Diosa taking them back with another kick. Good Let's kick down the middle of the field. Jade Messer side to give it a go. They've, they've, they've got 14 down. It's good, good take from the winger. Setting the, setting the ruck up. Good pressure from the Colombians in the ruck. That side just managing to keep hold of it. And they, need, they need to keep their composure. Give the forwards a go. Gerston taking it up. Fantastic work. Oh, the ball is spilled. This is dangerous for Colombia. Now, now Colombia needs to play fast. It's a turnover. Just need to be able to ha hang on to that ball now and bear with the build, build some go forward momentum from the Colombian side. They need to start picking up that pace of the ball, just allowing that du that Dutch defensive side just to set at the ruck uh, and out. Uh, they've got they've got the overlap. No, it's man on man. Plony making the making her tackle. Now a ruck on the side of the field. They've got only one side to do, to attack from. Valentina Suarez, big tackle, big tackle on the, the mm. number one. Massive tackle there from the from the Dutch defensive line. Just about that line speed, getting up off that line, just just creating pressure. The Colombians not knowing what to do with it. They've got the extra man in attack. They should be able to find some space. But the Munoz. Dutch, the Dutch, just not allowing them to get over the gain line. Just really good defensive effort. Double hits. Great double hits. Colombia struggling to get over the advantage line with the Dutch just chopping them away. And the, that is what pressure does to you. If yeah. you keep on pushing... First knock-on knock on from both sides. First one coming from Colombia. They're going to restart with the scrum. Absolutely beautiful rugby. It's unbelievable what we're watching here today, Venant. I think Matthew Cripps, the defense coach, will be so proud of the team, especially this pace of play. Look, they have not done it the whole game, but that is a great reward for a team that's been pushing and keep on working. This Colombian team is a dangerous team, but it's very hard for them to give the, get the ball out wide because the Dutch is pressing them, uh, pressing, pressing, putting on a lot of pressure. Putting on, <laughs> on a lot of them. pressure there at ruck time. Yeah. Exactly what I was going to say as well. Um, that uh, the Dutch team just just knowing when to attack that ruck and when not to. Just when just went to fa fan out and set that defensive line, get up in the face to ice it or not. And, and, and even with the man down, they managed to, to be a man-on-man -man defense, which is uh, really nice to see. Uh, something that they've definitely been working hard on in the last couple of weeks. They know that this uh, Colombian side does have attackers on the out wide, some, some, fast, some fast steppers on the, uh, on the out wide. And they've got to respect that and they've got to be able to put, uh, put man's... Put, put, put bodies in those channels and get uh, get get people behind the ball to be able to do, to defend uh, uh, properly. I've been really impressed with uh, Pin and Issa um, in the center positions. They are the ones taking the line up, and exp putting the the Colombian team under a lot of pressure. So keep it up, ladies. Let's see how it goes. 13 minutes into the second half, score still standing at 19-8. A stable scrum from the Dutch side. They're going to have a look at uh, at using the ball a little bit more. They've earned the right. In from the side, just a little bit of a mistake there at the rock time. A great tackle from the Colombian centers on number 12, Pien Salbeck, doing really well, forcing the penalty. What is the, going to be the decision? Venant, if you were in this position, a couple points down, within eight, uh, further than eight points down, what, what is the decision here? I think they're going for, they need to gather, they need to, to, to rack up the points. And that's, yep, that is what they're going to do. They're going for post. Um, I think the Dutch need to be really more uh, decisive on when to go in and when not. In that case, they decided not. And then the Colombian flankers, um, Laura Gutierrez and Anna Vargas, were on the ball. So Dutch, if you if you can improve on something, is just do just that. 
focus on when to go in and when not. Kick to come to make the score 10, 19 10. She struck it well. 19 11, Andy. Um, no, it's, it's three, points for, it's three yeah. points for a penalty, eh? Uh, exactly. You would think it's my first <laughs> rugby game, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in the front row, so mass is not my strong point. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> your, uh, your strong point is winning the scrums. Exactly. Although against this Dutch scrum and this Colombian yeah. scrum, I don't think I'd be too much use, too Brecht much of a use. Going off, she's being replaced. I think uh, she's being replaced by Anouk Vierkamp with the blo blue headgear. She's done her job really well in the tight head position. She's carried, she's carried some good ball. She's just been a little bit of a nuisance at uh, at the ruck time. She's emptied out the tank and uh, and and rewarded herself with uh, with the sub, allowing that player to come on and uh, and do the job for her. And just uh, you know, it's a sort of substitution to say it's in, in this day and age. It's now a finisher. Uh, great pass. A great a great restart system from the Dutch team. Nice deep kick a kick return and uh, and and then they've got a sh an attacking opportunity straight away. Let's see if they're going to be able to do something with it. Jonge Reis taking it up. Great, Nikki Dix over the advantage line. Keep the ball secure. Well done. Oh, oh just behind Pin. Some very strong tackles out there. That was great the tackling from the Colombian team. Good work from the good good work from the Colombian team just to gather that ball back in a in a desperate situation. Uh, the the Dutch side were looking like they were building continuity. Plony's going to look for, to put the ball in the air, gets the bounce. Captain Camila Lopera decides not to kick, and Plony is all over. Good work from the Dutch side, creating a lot of pressure for this Colombian team. They just don't know how to exit their own half and keep it there. Uh, Dutch side just coming back and coming back and coming back and just attacking and just asking all the right questions of that defensive line. Gisal Gomez taking it up, really good. <laughs> great, great defense from Julia Maro. Sydney Dwyer. Wow. Inge Jongerijs leading from the front in the defense. It's been, t it's been touched off a hand there, off a Dutch hand. No need to retreat now. Esme just a good, a good safe kicking. option. Big ping pong battle going on, yeah. Andy. And a penalty. The Dutch didn't fall back again. That's the second time the Dutch have just been penalised on that. Yeah, just that penalty count. Just, just going up and up and up. Just uh, uh, allowing this uh, Colombian side just to breathe a little bit more than they should do. You don't want to give them the pressure, especially uh, with ball carriers like Camila Cortano. Cortano and Catalina Suarez taking it up. I'm very impressed with number eight, Maribel, Mino, uh, Maribel Mestra. She's also been carrying a lot today. Definitely, there's been a few, there's definitely been a few outstanding girls out there today that uh, deserve the Man of the Match award from both teams. Both teams working very hard in attack and defense. Uh, it's been it's been uh, it's been a quite uh, quite a good battle in between the in between the 22s. We could be a little bit more clinical inside the 22s. I think could move that ball just a little bit more safely around instead of uh, a few knock-ons here and there. Just that last pass not not going to hand. Just not looking after that ball when going to ground a few times here. Lineouts we could be a little bit more clinical, but for uh, for the rest of the game it's been an absolute cracker of a game so far. We just saw Sylvia. Uh, we just saw uh, Tatiana Delgado coming up for the Colombian team. Captain Ing, it, sorry, that was Isa Prince recovering the ball from the lineout. Great pressure again from the lineout. Exit play here from from the from the from the Dutch team. A little bit of a box kick. Perfect kick into the That's trams. A great kick. Wrapped her up. Didn't let her get too far. 21 minutes left in the second half. City van der Weyer making the tackle there. And 
another penalty against the Dutch. We need, the Dutch really need to sort out the penalty count. It's starting to stack up and I see the patience of the ref is starting to fade away. So let's see if the Dutch can clean it up. Let's see, it's a little bit disappointing for the Colombian side to receive all these penalties and not being able to execute those penalties into points. So hopefully they can build some continuity here from the line out and actually get over the trine and actually get themselves a reward for, the, for all these penalties that have been given gifted by the Dutch team. Yeah, but Mariette Leica is doing a fantastic job and trying to steal the ball all the time. So let's see if the Colombian team can gather their own ball now because it's really important for them to build that momentum. Coming in, coming in another reserve there. Didn't quite catch the number, but we've got another reserve on the field in the in the Dutch forwards. Again, she gets Mariette straight Leiken. into the game. Mariette Leike, all credit. Again, another steal. Let's see if the Dutch can exit their 22. Great, great oh, contestable wow. kick there from Esme, just leaving it in the balance, uh, giving it enough hang time to allow her wingers to get up in the Colombian face, and uh, now Colombia have re returned the ball and kept it safely, being able to play with it just inside the Dutch half. Patience, patience, Colombia, and is it a turnover? It is been picked it up. But it's a knock-on, the ref says. Have you seen the knock-on there, Andy? I did not see the knock-on, but the ref did, and that's what, more, that's what counts more. Hey, the ref is uh, the owner of this game. We're going to have a little chat. Water coming on. I'm not sure if somebody's in here. Water coming on because it's uh, it's above 10 degrees, so the Dutch find it quite hot today. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Nicole Darango going off. Fantastic debut for for the for the for the new girl, and in her place um, is number three, Zulema Arobio. Arobio uh, is is the is the new winger coming onto the field. Big scrum from the Dutch. Is it a turnover? Indeed, it's a turnover. What a penalty. What a scrum from a team that, I will not say was dominated, but, oh, the Dutch decided to play it quick. Pin taking it up, stepping. Good feed from the number 12. Just managing to dip that defender just on the inside there. And another quick ball. The, the, the Dutch side wow. really, really building momentum and attacking that, that defensive line. Not allowing the Colombian defensive line to get off their line, to get into your face. Really doing well. Again, quick ball. Um, it's, it's, it's really good to see uh, the level of rugby that these girls are playing today. Sydney De Weyer. Oh, knocked backwards. And we see Anouk Vierkamp also on the field. Regathered? No, unfortunately not. Turnover ball again. Captain Camilo Lopera putting the Dutch back. What is Plony going to do? Oh, big tackle from the Colombians and a knock-on from, from Plony. And uh, the Colombian has the, Colombia has the ball again. Strong tackle from the defensive team. Laura Guatieres. Really a defensive effort today from both teams. Maria Aruguazo, very dangerous player. Uh, is that a no, another knock-on? Yes, ref sees it. Advantage was over. Scrum down. Orange ball. Andy, do you agree with me? It became, it's now a bit... There was, has been so many turnovers and the pace of play is so high. Now you start seeing it becoming sloppy. And it's really important for the team that wants to score next to just tighten it up. Yeah, I think I think one one team certainly has to, uh, has earned the right to sort of play a little bit more difficult, play a bit more of an open game. They've they, they've earned the right to, to to play in the out wide channels. They're looking to play a little bit more dangerously and get over the attacking uh, uh, to get over that gain line. It's just not coming off here and there. Uh, uh, the Colombians have have done their best in the in the situation that they are currently in. The Dutch team are attacking very well. It's a turnover. It's a turnover. It's a turnover. It's a very fast paced game. Exactly just what you said. Um, I just think both teams should should take a bit of a deep breath now and just come back to the basics and just have a look at where they can just uh, execute a little bit more clinically inside uh, inside these areas. 
Sydney, Sydney Devayer has it had an, a great impact since coming on with her blue cap. I've seen her made multiple tackles, carrying the ball hard. Great, a great substitute at this time. Steady scrum. A bit more of attacking scrum from the from the Dutch team. It's a little bit of a crack, Chris. Just. Just a little bit too much. Just, just not enough on, not enough on that angle there. Just forcing it into touch. It's a Colombian line out, just over the, just under the 10 meter line, into the Colombian half. Very unfortunate for Senna. She wanted to run. You can see it in her eyes. She really wants that ball. Young, efficient player. Very fast. Making a few big tackles. Uh, I saw as well. I think uh, both both teams are quite uh, are quite young teams. Uh, that, that, that that definitely helps with the pace of the game. Just another line out, just not going to hand, forcing the turnover. Really strong in contact and a good uh, a good bit of pressure from the Colombians at the ruck. Just just not being able to get it on time. That's a penalty. And the ref has blown the whistle. No, unfortunately not. Oh, it's a the ball could not go out. Time is off. Time is off. Is it uh, another substitute? We see Nikki Dix leaving the field. Amazing carries from her, strong in the, uh, in the scrums. Number nine also going off. Esme Lichtfoot uh, going off the field for Marit Lemons coming in into the number nine position to the distribution. Factory there from the scrum and the line out. Let's see what uh, what energy she can bring into the field at this moment uh, Just just to help uh, that Dutch team just to be a little bit more clinical and uh, just to bring up that uh, skill level in the in the in the last part of this uh, of this game Scrum is cured Been taking it up going inside Doing really well in that uh, in that 12 channel Number nine sitting in there at, uh, at number 10. Oh. Quick hands from Plony, just not going to hand. Gaia. Oh. Winger does really well, just just not being able to stay in touch there. She did really well on the first couple of steps, but just uh, really, really difficult to, to keep that ball in play. But again, that Dutch team just looking to play out wide and use those hands. Just trying to make that pass a little bit easier, but coming on a short line would, would have been good for the winger just to help Plony there a little bit. She was a little bit under pressure. She had a Columbia defender on her. On her nose, just as she caught that ball, so it needed to be quick. Uh, just help your players out just a little bit more. Let's have a look at the at the Colombian lineout again. Just the Dutch lineout getting a Dutch. getting getting a hand in there, just disrupting that lineout and forcing the turnover. Quick ball on the Fantastic back. Fantastic carry by Sydney. Finding the gaps. There's no advantage, guys. We're going to come back for the knock on in the lineout from uh, from the Colombian side. Pity they were building momentum there. You see Captain Inge Jongerijs just telling them to calm down, take it slow. Let's build the phases, because that's just what they need to do. Build the phases and then go for it. Lisa Boat. So they've got, number, they've got the first center up there as a crossbow option. They've got 13 coming off on a short line. And Jade Jetmetz uh, out the back to option to give it to Plony. Which one are they going to use today? Oh. Oh, they're going to give it to the number 13 on the short board. Just couldn't keep it on their hands. No, didn't expect it at all. First to turn. I, I almost was sure they were going to give it to the fly-off out the back door, but they went for the short option. Miscommunication, and then you get yourself in that. Plurny. Great pass in the tackle. Still going strong. Plurn. Good, good communication. Good, good skill work there by the, by the girls in the, in, in the out wide channel. Ball Great retention offload. is really, uh, just as I was saying it, I was jinxing it. Ball retention is really important now. No knock on it, went backwards, and somehow the Dutch still got it. Isa Prince, fantastic game so far. Sydney taking it up, missing one tackle. Opportunity out wide. Good skill work. Out wide. There you go, Gaia, and the try time. Oh, she's going. She uh, tries to get it all the way underneath the poles, just skipping one or two defenders there in the in the try area. 
Great skill work from the Dutch team to get the ball out wide and, 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 and have a good read on the space, where the space is. They understood that they had, they had a, an overlap here on the right-hand side of the pitch. Great skill work to get the ball there and a, a kick to come. Well done from the Dutch team. Andy, there you have it, huh? If you build the phases, the tries will come. And they were building and building and building. And they kept the ball. As I said, ball retention is really important, and that opens it up out wide. Very unfortunate missed tackle there from um, um, Juliana Soto. And, uh, yeah, the Dutch are behind the try line. Yeah, I think the Dutch team are just doing really well on the attacking, uh, getting that attacking momentum, that front foot ball, and just attacking in the right areas, just not allowing that Colombian defense to be able to fan out just as much. They've got those one-off runners coming down. Uh, into those short channels, so uh, uh, just just very difficult for the Colombian side at the moment. Wow, what a fantastic kick by Yetnets. Wow, taking the score to 24-11. Actually, 26, because it's over. Uh, conversion is, is two points. Yeah, no, but the uh, scoreboard <laughs> is just, just behind. <laughs> there you go, the scoreboard is now correct, 26-11. 26-11 to the home nation with 14 minutes left on the clock. Are the do the Colombians have a last breath of fresh air uh, to come and uh, uh, maybe uh, make this a little bit of a closer game or just be able to get over the, over the line uh, uh, just in the last and 13 minutes of this game? Number five, Anagaf Vargas going off to the field, being replaced by Ana Camacho. Good restart from the Colombian side, just putting loads of pressure and being able to get the turnover off the kickoff, playing it nice and short. They're going to be looking to play it a little bit safe now. Um, we see an and the, the whistle blows. She doesn't look too happy there on the ground. We no. hope it's not too serious for her. We don't like to see injuries of these types in these types of games, or all games for that matter. Andy, can you see who it is? Uh, no. It was quite a big hit. It was someone who went in the air, I'm yeah, sure. She's holding her rib, so could be something really painful you know a rib injury next the evening yes, you cannot uh, go sleep i'm just uh, very fortunate that i've got more padding before my ribs <laughs> indeed <laughs> don't worry Venant, you've got the same problem <laughs> i don't see it as a problem uh, andy <laughs> Colombian, uh, the Colombian team have been really good with the kickoffs. They've forced two or three turnovers already from the kickoff. Very consistent, yes. Yeah, they've just been pressing really hard. It's actually, it's like when they get scored against, the Colombian fire is coming, and uh, they're just really aggressive from yeah. the kickoff. De definitely been working on a system there just uh, for the restarts. Very important to get uh, the restarts. Uh, it's one of the most crucial. Crucial parts of the game uh, is how do you, how do you manage it? Whether you want to kick it deep, whether you want to kick it just on the ten, ten meter line, do you want to make it contestable? Are you looking for territory and uh, and hope to get the ball back for an attacking opportunity? It's just uh, what the what the coach wants at the end of the day, and just about uh, executing that system. The person on the ground is Lisa Boat, having a fantastic the number eight. She's been having a fantastic game. Quick feet, geez, when, when she runs with the ball, she steps like a winger, but she runs like a, runs like a forward. Um, yeah, let's see. I don't think she, she said, she's saying she, she's ready to play. A physio's worst nightmare as a rugby player. <laughs> let's see if uh, Ana Camacho the debutante that just came on can make a difference. Congratulations, Anna, Anna Camacho. You remember this day, representing the, your country for the first time. The crowd definitely giving some support there for the, for the home nation. Can definitely hear them on the sideline, uh, uh, hoping to inspire them just for one last try. But... They are getting the penalty at the scrum. The Dutch team very, very happy with that penalty. They have won two penalties in the scrum today, and the Colombians only, only the one. Um, 
So they definitely have a, had a fix there, have a, a correction there in the scrum to be a little bit more dominant. They've, 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 they've realized that it could be a weapon today uh, and they've definitely executed it very well. Well, as I said again, the, the impact Sydney Devayer and Julia Marrow have has been really, really good for this Dutch team. They have been really bringing it when they came on. They know exactly what to do, be at the right place at the right time. Uh, fantastic job, ladies. Overthrow into the hands of Sydney. Great tackle by Maribel Mestra. Just, just the lift not being as strong as they would like uh, to get that to get them in the air. Wow! Oh, wow, one. Mariette Leike. Mariette's still going. <laughs> How did she do that? Pick up and go. Ball retention, Dutch uh, ladies. Keep the ball and you'll see. Sydney taking up. Still going, Sydney. Two meters away. Slow ball at the base of the rock. Lisa Boat taking it up. All the for all the forwards have been used up. They need to they need to get rid of this ball now. They need to Pien use it. Pien gives Plony. it to Plony. Plony is try time, Plony. For a moment there, I thought she's gonna give it to Gaia, but she decided to keep it. Good decision as she went over the trial line. There's the first call for Plony today. We knew that she would eventually get over the line today. She just needed to persevere just a little bit in that in those wider channels and just hold on to that ball. And she backed herself and got over the line. 11 minutes to go. Just the gap getting just a little bit out of reach for the Colombian team. Uh, they did, they're definitely going to have to dig deep now in, uh, uh, for the last 10 minutes of the game. But how about that? About Mariette Leiger running that, that, that run. How did she get through that gap, Andy? That was that was spectacular. Yeah. And then she stepped in, uh, stepped to the inside, and still keeping her legs. Fantastic work, the number seven of the Dutch ladies, Mariette Leuken. Definitely getting the getting the go forward momentum there to 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 get off that try to allow Plony to get over the line here on the right hand side of the field. Uh, great work from the from the forwards. Definitely they, they they did really well to secure that ball inside the five meter line. Uh, a, g a good unit, uh, a good team effort there for, for, for that try. Yet Mets. Previous one have been successful. This one is <laughs> successful against the post. Over. Very well done. Very good kicking technique. She stayed in the kick. She kept her head down there. Well done. Uh, just, just to extend that lead just a little bit. I think it's, a, 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 it, it's getting out of reach for this Colombian team. They've just got to be, stay inspired and just keep their head up and, uh, and just keep attacking just to get something just a little bit more out of this game. Uh, uh, they still have the game against Brazil in June for the Women's Rugby World Cup in 2025. They are building to that, uh, to that game, of course, but uh, they're not going to be too happy with their performance today out there, especially defensively. They just couldn't get off, of their, off their line, and, uh, and the Dutch team certainly, uh, certainly took advantage of that today. Well, it's 33-10, 10 minutes to go. I will never say never, but the Dutch secure it well. Wow, Sydney! Wow, she cannot be stopped. Sydney Devayer. Captain Inge Jongerijs taking it up as well. And great backdoor pass there, just over the top. They're going to take it out wide. Try. There, great pass from Perny to the left out, uh, left out, left hand side of the field. Uh, just slow ball from the ruck there, just allowing that the uh, Colombian defence to set up there and get in their face. Great work at the ruck. Steel is not on, says the referee. No. Oh, no. yeah, there it is. Steel is good from the Colombian side. She just managed to get underneath those uh, support runners in the ruck there. Just managed to get hands on the ball, and the, the referee has awarded them with a penalty. Sigh of relief there for the Colombian side. Pity, because Isa Prince had a fantastic run. The support was just not there. And the Colombian team, ball fetchers, uh, Tatiana Hernandez was on the ball. And there you have it, turnover. Colombian line out just, uh, just, uh, just outside the 10 meter line of the, uh, in, in the Dutch half. Um, let's see how the line outs are going to fare out. Uh, this line out's going to fare out again. Another overthrow just being collected. But uh, no, short on penalty there coming from the, from, from the Dutch town. They've taken it quickly, the Colombian side out the back. 
Step on the inside. She's been wrapped up there. Great push from Pin Selbeck. It's a mall. Yeah, it's immediately available. So play goes on. Not getting over the game line. Good, strong defensive line from the Dutch team. Just being able to shift up there. Just creating the, a little bit of pressure. Ball not going to hand. Great catch there from Valentina. The pass, the ball, she was under a lot of pressure. And there you have it. Robio taking it up. Good little grubber kick there. Just, just, just having a little bit of space awareness there and just understanding where the space is in behind the defense. Plony doing really well getting underneath there, putting in a good tackle. This, Dutch, this Colombian side uh, allowing to play on the other side of the field. They're working towards the right-hand side. They've got the advantage, says the referee. Oh, great step and go from the captain, Camila Lapera. Colombia still holding the ball. No advantage. Offside, says the referee. Back 10, please. Oh, she's taking it quickly, nice and slowly. The Dutch have worked hard to get back 10 nice and quickly. You see number five of Netherlands, Isa Prince on the ground. Quick ball from the Colombians. They've got a last breath of air there. Just to get, uh, just to get over, the, keeping the keeping the ball, just gathering those penalties, just not just not being able to get over the game line as much as they want to. Laura Di Sousa, Di a Laura Di Sousa, the the fly off is screaming for the ball. Backdoor pass, over the top, just not going to hand. It's going to be a turnover. Turnover. Yeah. Dutch ladies pushing again, really hard, making it so difficult. No one's Great around. tackle. Great tackle from number 18. Tatiana Delgado, Captain Inger taking it up, still Dutch ball, Sydney being pushed, tackled great back. Tackle. Great defensive effort from the climbing side, just, just helping them put in dominant tackles, just helping them to set up their defensive line and get up off their line into the face of the Dutch team, just not allowing them to attack just the way they would like Turnover to. Turnover ball, Colombia has the ball now, Colombia has the ball now, Anna the the debutant taking the ball up, up. Isa Prince back on her feet. She looks uncomfortable, but she wants to defend. Very good blitz defend from the Dutch side. Just a little bit too much the pressure blitz. from the Colombians. Referee hasn't spotted it off, it's backwards. No, there we no, go, she's seen it. it. Forward, a, a knock on from the Colombian back line. Just a little bit too much pressure from the Dutch team. Getting up in their face, forcing the area once again. We've seen it all game long. Uh, could this be our final scrum of the game? Again, I want to say it again. Matthew Cripps, what you have done on this press defense, fantastic job. Jeez, this is saving the Dutch. Because the Colombians have a very, very dangerous back line, by, but they do not have the space to run. And that is just... Uh, girls like Pin and Isa, Gaia as well from the side, just putting on so much pressure. Uh, don't forget that Mariette Leike, also uh, head of uh, the cattle uh, tackle count, putting on so much pressure, Andy. Now it's, uh, it's wonderful to see the, the, the Dutch uh, defensive efforts today. Um, uh, working really well with each other. They really are connected. They are staying connected in defense and pushing up off that line. And uh, uh, they really are attacking in defense. And that, uh, it's really good to see. Just stopping that Colombian line from gaining uh, any momentum throughout this 80 minutes. Um, it, it's, been really, uh, it's been really good to see and really difficult for the Colombian side to, to get that momentum. And a substitute, number 22, who is Melissa Rios coming onto the field. Going for a 5-1 five, five split in the back line there. The same setup as we've just seen off of the scrum. 12 in first receiver with a backdoor option. Yeah, backdoor is going to be used this time. We're going to get a strong strong run there. Just ball not going to hand. Once again, we've seen it We've seen it happen before. Just not, just not looking where we're passing before we go. Um, just, just forcing the area there from the Colombian side. They're already shifting in defense. They are drifting. So there are the holes. We just need to be able to make a, a good read to see where we're going. Dutch have been putting on a lot of pressure in the lineout. Let's see if they can do it again. 
Colombia, I think that is one of their work-ons, is the line-out. They've been doing really well in other facets of the game, but the line-out has been struggling. This time they have it. Going for the safe option at the front of the line-out, just a little bit easier to collect, just an easier throw for the hooker, just, just an easier timing, uh, timing system there. Oh, and oh. Once again, just handling, just letting them down in the back line, just another knock-on, allowing the Dutch uh, to get onto an attacking platform. Laura Diasso will be so disappointed in that. Was not the best pass, but yeah, turnover. Num numbers on the right hand side, they've dot the numbers, they just haven't seen it yet. They're going to go for the kick. Yes, they're going for it. Good kick. Under it. Straight return, they're already waiting for it. Kickers drop back into that position. She's going to run it and send it back straight away. Is that ball going to bounce? Yes, it is. She Great bounce. Plenia has it. Still a Dutch ball. Great effort, great work, great. Just not just great letting that ball up. bounce. Golden rule of rugby, just don't let that ball bounce. You never know where it's going to go. You've got to get underneath it. Going. Attacking on the blind side, very dangerous, very, very uh, building that continuity, just building those phases. They are getting there. Turnover ball, Turn, looks turn, like. turn over ball. The Colombians have done it once again inside their 22, just giving themselves a fresh, uh, uh, a breather there from, uh, from, from the Dutch attack. Captain. Camilia Lopera sending it backwards. Plony having go at it. No, she gives it the kick. It will be Valentina Tapas marking it, opting for the safe option. Taking it quick, fast. Beautiful She's work running. from the number 15. Look at the feet. We saw we saw it against Fiji when they when they did it uh, against Wales. Uh, but just not executing it the same way they did. They managed to run it an 80 meter try. Unfortunately, Colombia have got the penalty against them. They were just, they're wanting to play quickly. They know they need to. They need to get some points on the board. Uh, we are into the last five minutes of the game, so they're just hoping for, for, for a reward at the end of the game, but just working a little bit too hard and, uh, uh, and not uh, having the support that they need, allowing the Dutch team just to tap it and kick it into touch. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 33 points, 2-11 at the end of the second half. The Dutch women have made history, and they are going to... Dubai and later this year for the uh, for the WXV number three they have done it congratulations to those teams uh, to the Colombian side well done on the 80 minutes and good luck for the next game against Brazil for the Women Rugby World Cup in 2025 my name is Andrew Svenningsen this was Weinand Breitenbach we were so happy to be here today with you yeah, great. Yeah, thank you everybody for, for tuning in. I'm very proud of this uh, Dutch team. They worked really hard, uh, especially the forwards. They were putting the platform. Ladies like uh, Mariette Leike being really strong in the lineouts. And then you have Captain Inger Jongerijs just putting on a show. And then don't forget the big impact Sydney De Weyer made when she came on the, on the, onto the pitch. I'm really proud of this Dutch team. They can be really happy about it. Uh, for well, the Colombian team, I think uh, um, Camila Lopera and her, her, her squad needs, needs to just go fine-tune those little things. I think they're a fantastic team. Just small margins is costing them a lot of uh, tries against them. But yeah, they had a fantastic scrum, I have to say. Yeah, definitely a wonderful game from both sides. Um, well done to both teams. Well done to the Dutch women's team have uh, qualified for the WRV team for, the, for uh, coming in later this year. But once again, guys, that was us. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time.